Welcome to this session of Go Ask Debbie. How to use Excel to select your lottery numbers. I've seen many articles online about how to select your lottery numbers. So what if I told you that you could use Excel to select your lottery numbers? Now there is never any promise that any program can help you win the lottery. We all know that. But if there are systems that people use, then why not automate them with Excel? So that's what I'm going to show you today. There are many ways you could use Excel to select your lottery numbers, but I'm going to show you three specific ways. First, let's talk about the Excel function for generating random numbers. There are actually two random functions in Excel, equal rand and equal rand between. Equal rand will return values between 0 and 1, which obviously are not lottery numbers, except number 1. So we need to use the equals rand between function. So let's start by opening a blank workbook and type equal rand between, then open parentheses, then the range of the numbers available in your lottery. Every lottery is different, so be sure to write the formula according to the lottery that you'll be playing. For the Powerball, which is available in many states, there are five white balls, or numbers, that can range from 1 through 69, and one red ball, which is the Powerball, that can range from 1 through 26. Depending on how you want to select your lottery numbers, you can set up a separate spreadsheet or a separate column for the white balls and the red balls. For this example, I'm just going to show you how the Excel function works and let you determine how you'd like to set it up. So in cell A1, we'll type equals rand between, open parentheses, 1, comma, 69, and then close the parentheses, and press Enter. Then we can copy the cell down five rows for a total of six numbers. We can then copy the function to multiple rows or if you prefer, write down these numbers to use them to select your weekly lottery numbers and simply edit one of the cells by pressing F2 or clicking in the formula bar and then press Enter or Tab to accept the changes. The equals rand between function will automatically return random numbers for all of the cells that contain the formula. A second way you can use Excel to select your lottery numbers is the Delta system, which I've seen many people talk about. It can be a little confusing, so using Excel to set up the system will make it faster each time you play the lottery. The Delta system is based on a statistical study of numbers that are next to each other. I've read that it's related back to winning lottery numbers, but again, remember there is no guarantee you will win the lottery by using any method of selecting numbers. With the Delta system, first select a number between 1 and 5. Next, select two numbers between 1 and 8. For the fourth number, select a number close to 8. It could be 7 or 9, for example. And finally, select two numbers between 8 and 15. The Delta system tells you to write down all of these numbers, but we can do that in Excel. Just as we did before, we can use the equals rand between function to select the numbers in these steps. This can automate the system for you. Finally, we'll add up all of the numbers that were selected. So using Excel, we can use the equals sum formula to do this automation. You'll then rearrange the numbers so they're in a different order. For example, if you selected 1, 3, 5, 9, 11, 13, you could rearrange them as 5, 3, 11, 9, 1, 13. We can also use Excel to do this for us. Once you've rearranged the numbers, here's how you select your lottery numbers with the Delta system. The first lottery number is your first Delta number. The second lottery number is the total of the first Delta number and the second Delta number. Again, we can use the equal sum formula for this. The third lottery number is the total of the second delta number and the third delta number. Continue adding the delta numbers this way to select your lottery numbers. Here's a link to the WikiHow article describing the delta system in further detail. So if you select the delta system, Excel can really help you automate this.
And the third way to select your lottery numbers is by the frequency of numbers drawn. Most lotteries have a website listing their previous winning numbers, so you can take those numbers and copy and paste them into an Excel workbook. Sort them and perform an equals count function to come up with the most frequently picked numbers. Again, this is all to help you select your lottery numbers. Remember that according to most lotteries, the numbers are randomly generated and each have an equal opportunity of being picked. These automated options are simply to help you automate systems that you may already be using. And maybe it gives you another idea of how to select your lottery numbers. Thanks for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie. And be sure to subscribe for more tips like this one. And to receive my free ebook that gives this and 65 plus ways to use Office more productively, click on the link in my description down below.